In addition to mental health support, we all as parents can use parenting support and education. I know I needed it. I still do. As parents, we are our children's main educators. The first three years of their life sets the foundation for the, how they will live as adults. Can you imagine that? Their brains are like the most fertile fields and every seed that is thrown into their mind grows from the moment they are conceived. And their nervous systems implement a natural instinct to know how to navigate whatever they endure. As parents, providing a safe space for the most natural development of our children is critical. And if we feel we don't have the education or support for it, I understand. So next, I'd like to introduce you to an, to an initiative where you can register to partner with agencies where, who are looking for your input. I received this email from Alexandra Morris. <clears throat> She's the state level family engagement coordinator for the Division of Child Development and Early Education, which is a division of the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, who is sponsoring this webinar. She said, I am pleased to introduce you to the, a seat at the table. She, I am pleased to introduce Seat at the Table to North Carolina Early Childhood Organizations and Families. This online matching resource has been customized for North Carolina by the Nat National Center for Family and Parent Leadership, powered by ECIC, which is the Early Childhood Investment Corporation out of Michigan. To make it easier for families of children birth to eight to find leadership opportunities and for local and state early childhood organizations to find family leaders in order to include family voice and decision making and program design. This means if you are interested in lending your voice to the wave of change, you can register to be what's called a family leader or parent leader through, save, through seat at the table. Then you can apply for opportunities to voice your comments, questions, and concerns with, with whatever the particular organization you're interested in seeking is learning, seeking to learn. You're interested in is seeking to learn. Your life, your education, your age, and the ages of your children are all important considerations when sharing your perspective. I invite you to focus on gaining as much education as you can about the best parenting practices because it is the only career that lasts for the rest of your life. Whatever you can learn and then share might not benefit you and your family immediately, but it does pave the way for the next generation to have the resources they need so the world can become a better place. Now let's talk about these parent education resources directly. There are a lot of good parent education programs av available, and we are going to offer a little bit of information about three. The Positive Parenting Program, Circle of Security, and Conscious Discipline. Now, even though they are not noted here, we advise you to check with your local Smart Start agency to see if they have any home visiting or parent education programs. Some are free, some require payment, and if you're, but if your children are in a federally funded Head Start program, there may be parenting workshops or classes through them as well. I know that was a resource I was able to tap into when my son was under three. The Positive Parenting Program, also known as um, Triple P, is a parent training program which is available online and in-person statewide. The online version is free to residents in North Carolina. It provides practical, positive guidance on addressing common but challenging, challenging behaviors in our children. Some of the Triple P parenting topics include disobedience, tantrums, fighting and aggression, lying, biting, whining, interrupting, mealtimes, family transitions, meaning divorces or separation, and children with disabilities. And the online course, you need a connection to the internet and the technology to use, um, to use the access, like a library computer, a phone, a tablet. You will need an email address, and you can choose three areas of focus. Individual se seminars and um, individual sessions and seminars are also available for everyday issues and more serious ones. Oh, I'm gonna skip ahead. Oh, here we go. Conscious, and then I'm gonna go back. Conscious discipline is an approach that empowers you with skills that create a safe, connected, problem solving environment for families. Um, and there are lots of free resources. Um, in this link, and you just need to 
go on, scroll down for free webinars, discipline tips, podcasts, and video galleries. There's just so much information out there. Now I'm gonna skip back to this one because both of the programs I mentioned are nationally recognized for the information they share and are used in many early childhood education parenting realms. I can't personally vouch for them because I didn't go through them and I haven't studied them. But the circle of security is one I highly recommend. It was an eight week workshop provided through the early Head Start program that with that um, early Head Start program wisdom was enrolled in as a toddler. Now we weren't here. We were actually in Connecticut, but this workshop changed my life. And this is an internationally recognized program. They have trainings around the world for people to facilitate workshops. Um, I suggest seeking ways to attend or to attend it or get an organization you're receiving services from to invest in it. And personally, I hope the state will eventually promote and implement people getting trained so it can be offered among its many services. Now, the simple way to explain what circle of security teaches is when a child expresses a need, we fill it. From the perspective of how a brain develops, this one step is what causes each one of us to either have high self-esteem or low self-esteem. That's because it began to develop the moment we were born. When an infant cries, despite popular old wives' tales, it's not because they are spoiled. It's because they're communicating a need in the only way they know how, to cry. That need has to be met in order for them to know they are important and will be taken care of. As children progress from infants to toddlers and then to children, they can express what they want with more advanced communication skills. It's important to acknowledge that some of their requests might be expressed as a need for them, but as adults, hopefully we are beginning to help them recognize that there's a difference between needs and wants. But specific, speaking specifically of inf infants, the only things they are expressing are needs and they have to be met so that child can have a high level of, high level of self-esteem as an adult. Now that is only one of the numerous benefits of this series of workshops. There are so many others, but that's the one that still resonates the loudest within me, even though I went through the workshop over five years ago. And while it sounds like the craziest thing in the world, it's true. Sadly, it's because parent education isn't required, despite the weight of responsibility on us, that these things are not common knowledge. So I invite you to diligently seek opportunities to learn how to raise your children with the best practices known to date. Taking a deep breath, whew. the Jai Institute for Parenting. Now, I've mentioned this specifically because I was trained through the Jai Institute for Parenting last year to become a parent coach. And they are one of the greatest resources that I know of that provide information about not just the development of children, but also about our development as parents and how we got to be where we are. Now, they aren't the only resources. There are many great informal parenting resources found on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. There are also not, there are also many not so great <laughs> parenting examples. And what guides me and who I choose to follow is when I keep in mind that my son, like all children, is a person too. And I work hard to treat him the way I want to be treated. The resources that help me to do that are the ones that I follow. Um, I would encourage you to ask a shelter um, or another program that you might be involved with or a church. If there is a way they can connect you with a coach or get one on their staff. Again, you can also secure one for yourself, although there might be a significant charge for the private services, but many of them offer free workshops um, at an extreme, or they have workshops at an extremely low cost, or they provide group coaching opportunities. You can also reach out to see if they offer scholarships to anything they are offering. Um, equity before birth. This is an organization that's out of Durham County that services a few of the counties in the area here where I'm located. 
and they provide midwife and doula services as well as parenting supports. So from the moment that um, an underserved family, this is specifically for women of color, black and brown in the black and brown community, um, they provide services from prenatal care all the way up until a family has a child who's 18 months. And they are making a huge dent in the disparity of, um, of moms who are not making it through or children who are not making it through their birthing experience. A great handout is also found at the American Academy of Pediatrics website called Purposeful Parenting. Again, there are so many great, there are so many great resources to tap into. And the ones that teach you about yourself and how you can parent better and how you can just be a better person in general. And to remember to treat, treat your children like the little people that they are, are the best ones that I found. I do want to speak to educational equity, which this is an organization in Durham specifically. It's called Epic Empowered Parents in the Community, and it's a support for early, for, um, early learners. I would encourage you that wherever you are in the state of North Carolina, get tapped into resources like Epic. And if you can't figure out where to look, then please contact them because they will be able to become a resource. They will help you find what you need where you are at. 